Let me conclude the greetings by taking a moment to remember Comrade Jeff Makubu, the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, Comrade Jolly D. Matongo, the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, Comrade Mpo Muerani, the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg. Relelo na moli lente lenaleru na kashiku. Madam Speaker, when we say we love Johannesburg, we really mean our words. Johannesburg is our first love. It is a love like no other. It remains protection and guidance. When you love, you respect. When you love, you appreciate the history and origins of the beauty that lies in front of you. When you love, you plan and make sure that your plan is implemented. It is against this backdrop that we need to go back to a developmental path of growing Johannesburg to a world-class African city that it once was. Our Growth and Development Strategy 2040, which is our long-term developmental strategy, will definitely take us to the world-class African city. We have apologies. We do apologize for our mistakes. And of course, we have learned from our mistakes. It is through learning we can correct our ways and focus on our future. Madam Speaker and fellow Jobekas, the Constitution brought us together and encourages us as local government to always ensure the involvement of communities and community organizations in matters of local government. What has happened today, it is an illustration of what, we can, what can go wrong when a government fails to serve the people. Our communities have suffered enough. They were promised change, and change moved to a false golden start. Enough is enough. Let us go back to a government that is focused on the following. One, improving the quality of life, ensuring that developmental-driven resilience of all takes place. Building a sustainable city which protects its resources for future generations and a city that is built to last and offers a healthy, clean, and safe environment. Creating an inclusive, job-intensive, resilient, and competitive economy that harnesses the potential of citizens. Recreating a high-performing metropolitan government that proactively contributes to and builds a sustainable, socially inclusive, locally integrated and globally competitive Gauteng city region. Good governance requires an efficient administration, but also respect for the rule of law, accountability, accessibility, transparency, and inclusivity and participation. It is heartbreaking that the city's main entities are financially on their knees with unsustainable overdrafts, such as the city power, which is now sitting at 8 billion negative cash balance. How do we fix a city that has financially collapsed? 10 months of golden promise have taken us 100 years back. Yes, we are not financially stable. Collectively, we can fix this mess. Thank you for trusting us with the task of leading the city of Johannesburg. And we will fix the financial position of the city of Johannesburg. As the incoming administration will immediately review and restructure the balance sheet of the ailing municipalities to put on a solid financial position. The city's debt, debt position requires an in-depth analysis and where appropriate and needed, we will collaborate with financial institutions to bring back the debt level of the city to an affordable and a sustainable level. 
we must Ill immediately activate the financial developmental plan to strengthen the city's finances and improve its credit rating to reduce the cost of borrowing. We have no choice but to implement a revenue and enhancement strategy to improve the fortunes of the city, which will avail additional funds to be deployed in much needed infrastructure programs and maintenance. Based on our governance experience, we will st stabilize the city's finances and ensure that the city is taken away from right-wingers and returned to the citizens of Johannesburg. <laughs> Madam Speaker, Jobe cannot continue to function in darkness when we have the experience of resolving this problem. We have done it before, and we can do it again. We have an energy sustainability strategy that will ensure the delivery of conventional power and integrate new distributed energy generation and energy storage facilities into the energy mix. This is, of course, positive news for the city of Johannesburg. With this innovative approach, the city must utilize new alternate energy sources together with the energy storage systems to reduce load shedding throughout the city of Johannesburg. This should be good news for the businesses and residents of Johannesburg. Also, by introducing this plan, we will impact on load shedding aggressively. The new energy mix is designed to relieve the pressure on ASCOM and not make the situation worse. Municipalities across the country are the most basic units of developmental service delivery by government. Developmental service delivery entails an understanding that municipalities are assigned the role to mobilize economic resources for service delivery towards the improvement of the lives of all citizens. Secondly, developmental service delivery views the delivery of basic services as a fundamental building blocks of improved quality of life to foster human dignity well-being and improved livelihoods. The people of Johannesburg are the source of our strength. We have to keep the city clean. The wellness of the people of Johannesburg depend on us. This task should take, should take us, this task should take it as a collective task. We should take it as a collective task and not as a party program. As we keep the city, we must continue to protect the environment by implementing the programs that focus on the following. Litter picking in public spaces, clearing illegal dumping, grass cutting programs, recycling programs, reeds and wetland maintenance, pollution prevention, air, water, and land. Madam Speaker and fellow councillors, today is a good day. Today is a good day. It is a good day to fall in love again with the city of Johannesburg. <laughs> Thank you to the political parties in council that used their consciousness to create a historical change in the city of Johannesburg. To the minority parties, you must never be undermined. You end your seat in council and your voice must be heard. Thank you to the African National Congress, my home, for trusting me with the task of leading the people of Johannesburg. We can now say, Madam Speaker, we are now home, and we will create a home for all to enjoy. And thank you very much.